Mastakalinga, that's what it is called, the ling on his head. Yeah. Actually, the story goes that uh, when Rukmini left Dwarka and he, she went hiding, she, Krishna said to Shiva, I can't go there alone. You know, the Leela is like, I'm very fearful of uh, the fury of my wife. You know? but please come with me. So as a dear friend, he took him with him. And Shiva said, okay, I will come with you, but I will come. Not accompany you physically, but I will come on you, on your head. So this is very interesting to, to see, you know. But that closeness, you know, of uh, Shiva and Lord Vishnu. You know, Sh uh, Krishna and Shiva. Because very often some bird head, they like to separate them. You know. But in reality, no, they can't be separated. In the form of Vital himself, you know, he shows that you can't separate Bhagavan with his Bhakta. And his Bhakta is always in his mind. There is not a single time that his Bhakta is not present inside of his mind. And for the sake of his Bhakta, he do everything. Yeah. That's why yesterday, when we were uh, in the song, uh, we were singing, what is it? Yeah. Uh, there's one part of it which says, you know, Gajendra asked Lord Shiva, uh, asked Lord Vishnu, who called you when uh, the crocodile was uh, pulling, I think, pulling me, dragging me inside. I called you, but why you have you saved, you have liberated him first? And Lord, uh, Krishna, uh, Lord Vishnu said, Bhagavan Vishnu said, that, what can I do? That is my I say, weakness. And so, you have a weakness? Yes. I said, those who have hold the feet of my devotee, I have to liberate them first. In the Gita, Krishna said it, no? The devotee of my devotee is the dearest to me. So those devotees, which is devotee, they have learned to be humble. They have hold the feet of the devotee of the one. You know, and they have hold the feet of the one by one. Thing. And Lord Shiva is such a great devotee of uh, Sri Krishna, but he's always absorbed in the remembrance of Bhagavan himself, you know. Lord Shiva, when he's sitting in meditation, what, who is in his, uh, say in the Shiva Puran, Parvati also, Shiva, who is, who are you? You are the Lord of the free world. Who are you meditating upon? What was his answer? I'm meditating upon Ram. Ram Shri Hari. No. So, that is also that aspect of the one himself. You know, that's why he's called Pandurenga. Pandurenga in that Sarup, when he's, you see the shifting on, is Pandur. You know? It is the Lord which is beyond any limitation. So that is where he said, But Shiva is inside of me, and I am inside of Shiva. So Shiva is always absorbed in him. You know? Just like the Bhakta, once a Bhakta went, you know, in back of Krishna home, and Lord Krishna. I was very, he was excited to see Lord Krishna and Lord Krishna asked him, Krishna asked him, my dear devotee, whose house is this? And the devotee said, it is yours, my Lord. I said, okay, whose bed it is? The one, it is your bed. Whose food is it? It is your food. So like that, on and on, the one is asking the devotee, who, what all these things are, it's all yours you know? so if coming to the prayer room that whose deity is this I said Bhagavan that is mine <laughs> that you are mine the rest is yours <laughs> and that what is Pandurenga <laughs> uh, Shiva said you are mine the whole jagat is yours so that's why 
Bhagwan placed Lord Shiva in a very high level on his head itself. That is also to show that our mind have to be on the Lord Himself. You know, like Shiva's mind is always absorbed on the name of Sri Ram, on Sri Hari. Like that, the devotee's mind must be always absorbed in the One Himself. And like I said, those who hold the feet of Lord Shiva will attain the grace of Sri Hari. So that is thundering.